Well, at least my ukulele fits when even when I don't. <laughs> it fits in better, I should say. <laughs> hey, good morning. I am your party artist. It's Kim Overholt here. Yeah, it's my name. <laughs> here at my studio, Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio. And I am your hostess with all the toes. Yes, my name's Kim Overholt. And yeah, I look like the guy from uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, yeah, that space guy. <laughs> that space guy that's like, aliens are real, you know. Oh boy, watch out. Aliens are real. Only real aliens are the ones that are in your brain. <laughs> those little, uh, what are they called? Um, parasites, yeah. Those little parasites in your brain, making you crazy, making you insane. Okay, welcome to Entertainment Thursday. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes, it's Thursday, Entertainment Thursday. It's a completely rainy uh icky terrible and i'm sorry i didn't make it yesterday yesterday was wellness wednesday and uh uh i had a few things to do yesterday and you know what was really good about yesterday is i really got to talk to a lot of people and it made me feel good about myself too do you ever have days where you're feeling down because you're like i haven't heard from anybody i'm not talking to anyone and it's like uh, okay well maybe it's like i don't know Maybe it's a better world without me kind of day. And then you go around and you start talking to people that you know. And all of a sudden your feelings go from feeling, you know, down in the dumps to, you know, I think maybe I can make a difference still in this world. And you know what? I, I still think that I can make some kind of a difference in this world. And I hope that I can. And I hope that, you know, I can help you uh, enjoy life a little bit more just because you know we are all on the same planet watching the sun and moon eclipsing and watching everything kind of come together culminating into something weird and wonderful because god knows what's coming i know there's something big something big is coming uh, i think I, I did a song about that once about something big yeah i don't know what it is but i know it's going to be great yeah. Yeah. You know what? Some people are so trepidatious about stuff. I know what, you know what? You, you shouldn't worry. You really shouldn't worry about stuff because it's, it's, you know, life is short and we all know that it doesn't last for very long at all. So like, don't, don't get concerned over it. It's not a big deal as, um, as someone once great by the name of Bob Marley once said, don't worry about a thing because everything's going to be all right, or Irie, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and uh, for me, myself, I, I think that things are, you know, even though people want to have doom and gloom going on, I think that there's something greater than that coming. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm, I'm here to kind of, you know, oh, and I, <laughs> and I've always told myself this, and this is very important to tell you too. Life's what you make it. Uh, more and more, the main point. But the other point is, don't panic. Don't panic, all right? People get, oh, my God. It's like, no, can you just relax for a second? Think. Use that little noggin. Use that little bit of whatever you have left in there, a little nut that's full of meat in there. This is the nut. And in this inside, there's some really good meat that uh, actually helps, helps you to uh, coordinate yourself and start thinking a little bit more properly. <laughs> Use it every once in a while. Don't panic about stuff because, you know, there's some things you can control and there's some things you can't. You got to know the difference between the two. And that's sometimes where it, it kind of gets, the lines get a little bit muddy and people start thinking, oh, this isn't going to work. That ain't going to work. And why are we doing this? And blah, blah, blah. There's reasons behind everything. And I'm sure in the end, whatever is supposed to be good will turn out for the good. I hope. <laughs> and you got to hope because that's the best that you can do. So I hope you're having a great day. Yes, it's Entertainment Thursday. And um, yeah, I guess I should put up my my little sign to so, show you, you know, if you want to contact me or, you know, you want to get any artwork from me, I do have a, I do have a website. I, and it's surprising. I've had it for so many years. Uh, what year did this start? I think I started back in 2006. So we're talking almost over 20 years. I've had my website. Yeah. And I have had success with it. I, I do believe that uh, I have I've managed to have some artistic success with it. And, and it's good to have. I think you it is a good idea if you want to make money, get yourself a website. Because <laughs> sometimes, 
an inexpensive but an inexpensive website and then decide for yourself you know at that point what you want to do if you wanted to make it something serious or something not so serious uh my original thought of it, it was kind of like a, a way of showing you different art artistic styles and then having you um you know contact me if you want to have that in Niagara area because you know I never thought of outside the box like in the whole world I mean if you want to ship me out to where you are how uh, wherever that may be you know I, you're more than welcome to I don't have a visa right now so I it would take a little while for me to get going I guess and uh, because I am unvaccinated thank you very much and uh, I didn't subscribe to all this uh, um, QR codes. I am not a QR code, by the way. I am a human being. I, I don't. I don't. I don't need to show my papers to uh, tell you what I am. You should know by looking at me what I am. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, yes, I used to play with boys when I was younger, and I, yeah, I used to be a tomboy. Doesn't mean that I wanted to be a boy. And people all obviously mistake that to, for a lot of people now, and they found out the hard way about how things kind of turn around on them in that kind of fashion. But, you know, but I'm going off on a tangent. I really just wanted to come here today and entertain you because it is Entertainment Thursday, and I love doing things because it's good to practice, practice all the time. And once you get good at practicing, it becomes like a second nature to you. And what becomes second nature almost uses like muscle memory. I've been doing, um, I've been working at different places for so long now, that my hands just automatically, when I'm typing, just automatically go to where they're supposed to because everything just takes so much more time and you start learning the little shortcuts of everything, even with your hands. So when I'm a cashier, I da 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 da, I'm quick and easy and can do stuff. Uh, when I am doing certain things that require art, da 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 da, make it quick and easy because I've had so much practice with it that I know that I don't have to think about the, the guidelines like folding when you're folding uh, uh, folding a shirt, you know, you got to make sure that you there's certain ways of folding things and everything kind of comes together. It's the same way with doing any kind of art. It's just a matter of practicing, getting it good, getting it right, and getting it down. Now, um, and of course, I'm still working on my website, like, like working on my channel here, like this channel here. I always try to upgrade. Um, Trying to fix it up and make it a little, little bit more interesting. I know my my lighting is terrible, but I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, my light keeps burning out on me. Uh, maybe I'll try some fancy. How about a nice funky light like that? That would kind of work, wouldn't it, for a little while? <laughs> so I got the party light going, so that would kind of make it look kind of interesting for a while. So party light on a uh, Entertainment Thursday. Yeah, I want to make it get entertaining for you today. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the... Um, this is what it is for an entertainment Thursday. Yeah, it's me. You got it. You got it. If you want me to do something special for you, just let me know in the comments below. I do do tricks like this, like this, like this. But just see, there's nothing, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. That one where you go, you put your hands together like you're the champion of the world. If you ever laugh so hard that you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you laugh so hard that you fart, yes. And that's what I love to do, make farting noises with my hands. <laughs> that's my fun. I, I really think that life should be a little bit more fun than, you know, people let on. And honestly, play with ukulele. I mean, to get it started, me with my small hands and stuff like that. But I'm working on it. It is electric. I know, that's scary, right? Yeah, I got my, I got my Fender amp over there, but... You, uh, I'm ready to go like electric. Like I, I want to get like like a solid body. I'm thinking guitar, and I'm thinking like shredding and stuff. So I've been watching too many videos on, especially uh, Monteo Mancuso. Matteo Mancuso, like <laughs> man, I'm out of the league when it comes to that. But. But I still enjoy playing just the same, and I like making it fun for you. Oh, I started already. Oh. Oh, there's so many different chords you can play. 
especially when you play ukulele. Ukuleles are like the easiest, funnest things that I think you can ever learn how to play. If you don't have one, you should have one. George Harrison always says, you know, ukuleles. <laughs> he used to keep, carry them in his trunk of his car and give one out all the time to all his friends and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I believe it's a great idea. <laughs> Great way for entertaining, anyways. And you can make up all kinds of songs. You've seen my ones that I made for uh, Brad Pitt, of course, and uh, <laughs> those were fun. I actually enjoyed doing that, and uh, I hope he doesn't mind. I know he's probably got uh, tons and see, this is, <laughs> I tell people about this, like this is a, the Brad Pitt thing really is all about just basically showing people, you know, you can talk about it and you can, you can poke fun in it because, you know, I know for a fact, like I'll, I'll never, I'll never get to see the guy. I'll never meet him. Cause it's like, it, you know how many people it's, it's crazy. I, I, I've uh, done research and I found out like, you know, there's a lot of people. Who are bigger fans than I am. And I try to keep out of I I, I really I've done it. I, I do it just for fun. It's like that uh, the thing that uh, people say, oh, I don't like Taylor Swift. Well, I'm sure she doesn't care because she's making great money and she doesn't care <laughs> a lick about you. And it's the same. I'm sure Brad Pitt doesn't give a lick about me and what's going on. Somewhere. That means, you know, it's all right. Because it's like, I, I you know, it, I can talk about all the different impersonators and uh, all kinds of fun that I've had, especially with being a fan. I am. I, I, I'm sorry to say, yes, I am a fan of Brad Pitt. I, um, I think I like that. It, it, he's got he's got drama. He's he's got he's got it going on. And, and uh, unfortunately, I think it is something genetic. And there's something more. And I don't know why. I've been trying to drop it for like the longest time, but it just seems like come back again and uh maybe one of these days i'll get over it but until then let me sing you some songs <laughs> and not talk about it anymore because yes yeah i know uh, me and him are like this and and like i say this is me over here <laughs> so let me sing you some songs because i know that's the, probably next the best thing for entertaining you i love to make people laugh and it's just that that's the whole thing it's just about having fun you gotta have fun with it all right, so let me play you a little bit of fun songs. Uh, let me find one for you first. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can do this one. La, 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 la. Yeah, you know, on a rainy day like today, it's nice to play sun songs for sure. So let me see if I can do this. Do I need a capo? Oh man, I lost my capo. I don't know where I put it. Da, 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 da. Lost the capo. I mean, I got my brushes. I got my brushes for painting. That's great. That I, I always need those. And I got my uh, my comic book for doing all my co comic book sketches and stuff. And I got all my art. But do you think I can find my capo? Oh my goodness. Well, maybe I can do it without the capo. Um, da, 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 da. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just do something different. Uh, We'll do something with sun in it. How about that? I'll look up something that has sun in it. S-U-N. And maybe we can come up with some sunshine. Oh, Sunshine Superman. I like that one. All right, you guys. It's the musical part of, of the entertainment. Come on. <laughs> Tell you. 
right now And a trick in the book Now bam, bam That I can find Superman or Green Lantern Ain't got I never know me I can make like a turtle And I fall A frozen the sea Yep yeah. Dig it, you can just sit there Thinking on your velvet throne Yes about all the rainbows you can have for your own. Cause I've made my mind up, you're going to be mine. Tell you right now, and it took in the book, and I'll be bound that I can find. Everybody's hustling just to have a little scene. When I say we'll be cool, I think that you know what I mean. We stood on a beach at sunset. Do you remember when? Well, I know a beach where they die. It never ends. Oh, when you made your mind up forever to their mind, I take up your hand. Sunshine Superman by Donovan. Yes, yes. Let's see all what else has sun in it. What's else got this? Uh, oh. Oh, here you go. I almost turned the song today. <laughs> almost means it started and I stopped it. So, but I'll play it for you. Oh, of course, and it's got a capo. Of course, it would be. Uh, let me not do it then. Let me find a different one with sun in it. Sunshine of your love. Let me see if I can play this song. Oh my gosh, that's a toughie too. I bet you. Oh, let me see.
Maybe not. <laughs> you know, there's a few songs I'm still learning. And sometimes I look at them and they look like they're easy, but they're not as easy as I think they're going to be. But I can't wait for Saturday morning. Uh, sunny, maybe? Make it sun, sunny, sunshine. Shine. Oh, sunshine. Sunshine. What's it? Sunshine of your love. Sunshine, Superman. Sunshine of your love. Sunshine of your love. Sunshine. Sunshine, noise. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Oh, let me see. Let's see how that one goes. John Denver. Okay. Have you guys listened to any John Denver lately? Me neither. <laughs> but I'll play you a little bit. I don't even know if I can remember how it goes. It's been a long time. I think I haven't heard this since at least the 80s. <clears throat> Maybe 90s. Maybe 2000s. I don't know. I don't. Oh, it's not in my repertoire. It's not in my repertoire, but I will put it in there. All right. See if I can find another one. Oh, wait a minute. I'll try. I'll try. Is there any capos on this? There is a capo. Hold on. Let me try if I can do a different one. Maybe do a nice version that doesn't have. Okay. Maybe it has one that doesn't. Uh, let me scroll without having to play an actual song underneath. Okay. Maybe this will work. Okay. This one. Uh, capos on it. But let me see if I can do it without it. do it don't do it until you know how to do it okay i'll stop i'll stop yeah okay so <laughs> that was the entertainment musical section for today thank you i'll stop because they can it's depressing <laughs> i'll be quite honest i'm depressed because i'm not, not getting the chords right but that's okay we can try for other things we can try for other things it'll work i promise <laughs> okay so Entertainment part two. I'm going to give you a nice card reading because I know you love when I give you a card reading. It's a lot of fun. And uh, Magic Tuesday was actually a very open, uh, a very interesting um, reading that day as well. So, and I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you're going to get something out of this one today. We're going to do a little bit of a reading. So, let's see. and sorry. What I usually do is I. Say if there's anybody watching me live, if you want me to tell tell me to stop and I can pick a card, or if 
something falls out of my deck, which is usually what happens in this particular case is like, I have it so that something, if something falls out of my deck, I'm going to like, that'll be the one for the day. All right. So what I got to tell you, of course, is um, be courageous. And uh, that's the main part of today. So let me just give this a shuffle and see where we end up. Uh, be courageous on such a gloomy day like today is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So keep your chin up. Keep your head into the cloud, uh, over the clouds where you can see the sun shining in the sky. Even though it might be cloudy outside, there's sunshine in your heart. So I'm just trying to make you happy, happy, happy on a happy rainy day. On a happy rainy day. <laughs> All right. I cut, you know what? Maybe I'll get a little bit of music going on in the background for you. How's that? Because I sometimes know it may be a little bit more exciting if you can hear some music playing in the background. Maybe ho hopefully there won't be any commercials. I'm going to play some little spot. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't. I can quit the Spotify and I'll just, uh, you know what? Spotify, although has more, uh, has more like, you know, options for music in the background. So while I'm doing this, oh, while I'm doing this, goodness, <laughs> I've gone blind. Uh, I can also, yeah. A little Spotify. Give me some music to play so I can play something nice. It takes forever for it to load. Sorry about that. Give me a second. La 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 la. Um, I'm looking for the low five beats. I have to go over here. This is what I usually do. So like view and playback. Sometimes it'll come. Hello. What's going on? Oops, no need to do that. Uh, put it back down to normal. Normal. Oh, no, not full screen. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, low fi do, do, do. Do, <laughs> do I have a low fi Let me just escape this. This is crazy. Hold on. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Let me just, how do I get this to go back to normal? Oh my gosh, I've got it going too big now. How do I get back to normal? Oh, there you are. Okay, uh, out of big, big version, back to small version, please. Oh my goodness. Sorry, bear with me. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it now. Oh my. Yeah, I got it too big here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. What a crazy day. I'm so sorry. Uh, copyright low five beats. There we go. We'll just do some of this. Copyright free, you should say. There we go. All right. Do some shuffling of the cards and see what happens. Sounds like I should be doing a magic trick. I love doing magic. All right. Let's shuffle the cards. See what we got. Are you excited yet? <laughs> All right, you're like, come, come on. Oh, Why don't we stop at Passage? Passage is a nice one. It's going to be a good one this time, I swear. I know. It'll fall out and we'll be like, yeah, it's going to work. Oh, it's coming. No, no, we don't need the nightmare card. We want something good, positive. Think positive. Think positive with me. Come on, everybody. Think positive cards. Think positive cards. Think positive cards. You have a message coming to you. There's a few messages coming. I saw that the messenger. Oh. 
We'll let those two come up because I know. Ooh. All right. What we have here is something interesting. <clears throat> if we have a commercial, I'll just let it go to commercial or whatever, and I'll tell you after. Give me a second. Yes, yeah, it's going to be commercial. Right. Okay, so while it's on commercial, what I'm going to show you is the cards that I chose. Oh, I mean, check chose that the the cards chose for me today. And uh, I saw this one first. It's the Six of Pentacles. And, of course, there's Major Arcana card, which is the Death card. Now, don't be afraid. The Death card does not mean what you think it means. Uh, sometimes it doesn't mean a, a death. It means change. It means something changing with maybe this card here. So let me find out what this one is here. I have an idea. But let me just... Let me check. Let me check mine. Because I saw the green one first, so six pentacles. Generosity. Yes, I thought so. Generous. So generous. Uh, gener generosity. <laughs> generosity. Yes. So let me just show you. You know what? When I'm looking at my screen, it's like it, it looks weird to me. So just bear with me. I know it's. I'm acting weird. Okay, let me just take off my crown. Let me take off my glasses. It's, it's been a weird day today, too, i got to say. It's been strange. I, I mentioned something. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you in a second. Come on. I'll give you a reading first. Okay, so. La, 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 la. It says, Generosity. Express your need and others will help you answer them. Look deep within yourself and you may find the resources that, must, that you must share to know success. Fulfillment will be found through your generous generosity or that of others. This will be a pleasant and well-earned reward. Sorry. <laughs> if you bestow a gift upon someone, make sure that you expect nothing in return. Yeah, so it's it's like, you know, you, you're being good for the sake of just being good. But generosity. Yeah, there you go. That's so nice. <clears throat> and then, of course, there's the major arcana, the, the death card. The death card, which is like major change major awesome change okay it may you may require a little bit of uh inner patience and inner bitter inner um uh what would they call it well i'll just read it and see what it says okay so all right death card there's going to be a profound change which if resisted may be painful if the ending is ha unhappy let it go and move forward. Seek the essentials of the matter. Ignore all the superfluous details. Destroy old patterns to reveal new rewarding paths. Do not fear change or passing away. Your fear of death must be recognized and confronted before it is allowed to interfere further with your enjoyment of life. So don't forget to enjoy life. As much as you're afraid to die, there's some good things coming out of this life that maybe you're not aware of. Okay. So that's not, like I say, death cards, not, it, there's change coming. There's may, maybe a major change in your life happening, <coughs> excuse me, or going to happen. But it doesn't mean that's a bad thing. It just means that with your generosity and moving forward, you know, change can be a positive outcome. You know, if you don't expect anything in return, that kind of thing. All right. So very good. And what is it based on? Oh, which a card I got earlier was which was talking about passage. Okay. So the, the right of making it through everything that you've done. Okay. So although there may be some changes coming and uh, as long as you aren't expecting any reward from it, you should have safe passage. That's probably what it's saying. Uh, what is it? Oh. You're not defeated. Yes, passage. So it may give you a different perspective and put you in the right direction. So that's what it's basically saying. From the basis of what it's trying to do is put you in the right direction. Okay, you guys. All right. So that's a great reading for today. Yeah. Very surprising with other things mixing into it. And who's to say what's going to go on for tomorrow? So tomorrow's another day. 
And thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And yeah, like I say, uh, I'm sorry that I missed you yesterday for Wellness Wednesday, but it was really nice to go and be actually well with everybody live, um, the people that I know. I met many of my friends along the way and and said thank you for being my friend. And I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm grateful for you for being my friend and all 50 of you. <laughs> and, and the more that want to join, you know, click my subscribe button. I do really... I actually do some artwork and oh, I'll show you what I'm going to be working on coming up real soon. A couple of paint parties come in, of course. This one's going to be coming up on the weekend. So I'm going to be doing this particular one. This is so nice. There we go. So cute. The little, little koala bear. And for the end of the month, I have something. Well, it won't be as elaborate as this, but I did this too just the other day to show you. Like you can paint. This is what you can paint. You can paint this with me. <laughs> so just a little bit of hints of things that you can do and show you that, you know, you know, if you want to learn, it's not that hard. Like, like learning how to juggle. <laughs> it takes a little bit of practice. And once you get good at it, you don't have to watch while you're doing it, which makes it great because you can start playing around doing all kinds of like little tricks like this. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, it keeps you in good shape as well. And I always have to tell you guys, be well with yourselves, okay? Like if, you, if you're not feeling good, check and see what it could be. That, that maybe is, might be wrong going on in your life. Because, you know, sorry, I don't mean to bend down. But, you know, sometimes in your life you may have uh, some, some little things that we are all going through. And if there's somebody that you can... That can help you along the way you know that's important too um i think mental health is very important actually and i think that's the one thing that uh social media has kind of lacked on is uh because we are all we're all talking into a camera and we don't really get enough time to actually talk to an actual person but i'm sure if we do we would probably be a lot nicer and a lot more kinder and imagine what the other person on the other end of the camera might be thinking too so I try to make it as good as possible as I can with what I've got and uh, try to show you like, you know, you can do it. It is possible with practice. Practice becomes uh, something that becomes a, a habit and the habit becomes something that's second nature. And once it becomes second nature to you, <laughs> second nature to you, you find that you can do it without, uh, um, what was that word that they used to use without, delay without uh without reserve or delay it's just you know a natural reaction yeah like that okay <laughs> and yeah the natural reaction is just to just be with you guys and uh, tell you know i know things are crappy here in canada and and i know that you know life is not what it's all cracked up to be but we're here and it's a blessing to be here and we're very beautiful and there's nothing that you can say that can ever change my mind about how important it is just to be. So I'm glad you're here and I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad we're here in this time, which is so delicate. It's very delicate. The balance is very, very, very delicate. We don't realize until it's kind of like, mm -hmm, right. And on that note, <laughs> I'm getting too philosophical and that's not what you want. You want something fun. And I appreciate you being here and I'm glad that you're my friends and peace of brother with a little bit added. As my mom used to say, I keep her dear in my heart because she's so wonderful and, and beautiful as are all of you. And uh, thank you very much. I do like a full play and stuff like that, but you know what? I'd rather just have you hang out with me and, and enjoy being so <laughs> enjoy your day and cheers. Uh, let me let, let you go with a little bit of, uh, if there's music, let's see if there's music. Or if it's just another commercial, hold on. Maybe I can lead you out with some music before I go. So yes, it may be a rainy day out there, but in my heart, I got sunshine just for you.
great day.